It's been over two weeks since the Uri attack, in which 19 Indian soldiers were killed, but none of the Pakistani artists condemned the massacre, following which they were banned from working here in India, and also body of producers had passed a resolution deciding to ban Pakistani artists from working in Indian movies until tensions between the two countries subside. While big names in Pakistani film industry like Fawad Khan, Rahat Fateh Ali Khan, Atif Aslam, Ali Zafar and others have kept mum on this serious issue, there are Mahira Khan, Maura Hukain and Ali Azmat who have now finally reacted on the growing tension between India and Pakistan and of course the growing terrorism. Check out their reactions here. Maura Hukain I strongly condemn all terror attacks. We must realize that a life lost is a life lost. The world needs to stand together against terrorism. Ali Azmat, let's not fight India-Pakistan, only military-industrial complex wins, people lose every time. Pakistani singer and musician Kuratulain Baloch shared a famous quote on her Twitter handle hinting at Pakistani artists who are mum on the tension between India and Pakistan. We must always take sides, neutrality helps oppressor, never the victim, silence encourages tormentor, never the tormented. Meanwhile, Myra Khan, who will be seen in the Shah Rukh Khan's Tyler Rise, few days back shared a post on her Twitter page that said much about terrorism and the conflict between the two nations. Clearly, her post hinted at peace between the two nations and not war. In fact, Pakistani singer Shafqat Amanat Ali has now opened up on the recent Yuri terror attack and the tension between India and Pakistan. In his recent Facebook post, he wrote, I am repeatedly being asked questions on this today by media in both India and Pakistan, so here is what I would like to share with you all. It is a very sad and tough time for the people of both the countries. I think the artist fraternity should not be involved in these matters as all artists are only about spreading peace and love and bringing people closer. Needless to mention, certain people want to sabotage the peace process, projects and such initiatives. We should recognize these negative forces and not play according to their agendas. We must refrain from any kind of decisions that will support that certain group's goals.